It is time to show you one of my all times favorite indicator that not a lot of people know about. This can give you amazing entries into trends. If you want to know how, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to this video. I thought let's do something different by looking at indicators that no one else is typically looking at. Today we will be um, observing the Traders Dynamic Index, which is a pretty nice tool. As always, it's not a magic bullet, but it does give us some really pretty signals. So let's take a look. What we have down here is the TDIA. The bands you can see here is a simple Bollinger Band the red line you can see is an RSI and the green line is the moving average of the RSI so the Bollinger Band is applied to the RSI obviously what that gives us is a very simple trend following tool and I will show you how to use it so the yellow line is the master line if it's above 50 we long only if it's below the 50 level, we short only. The red and green lines give us our signal. So when the red line cuts above the green line and the yellow line is above 50, it's a buy for us. And if the yellow line is below 50 and the red line cuts down, it's a short signal. So this one would not be a short signal, obviously, because yellow is still above the 50. So let's take a look at some potential signals. Here's one that is super obvious. The two moving averages I'm using are the EMA50 and the EMA20. They are nicely moving down, so we are in a downtrend. The yellow line here is also below the 50 line. It would be nicer if it's already moving down, but that's okay. And then we get the signal here, red, cuts below green and below yellow actually for a short signal you enter at the end of this bar at the close of this bar and then price moves down there's another signal right here when red once more cuts below green and now we are also moving down nicely on the yellow line it's down sloped so this is another short signal right here for another roughly 100 pips move now what you want to avoid are things like this where the green line is actually above the yellow line and red cuts below green but we the yellow line is below 50 so this is not a short entry you want the green line to be below the yellow line as well to make for those high probability entries here's a potential long entry for example a very obvious one as well yellow cuts above 50 just in the same moment as red cuts above green green is above yellow <laughs> lots of colors here so that's a classic long entry signal and we are above the moving averages as well of course it would be better if they are sloping down like here and not uh, flat but we just had a trend change here as you can see and the signal worked out nicely as well giving us a great up move of roughly 90 pips. Here's another signal that's a possible short entry. This is called a hook. So red doesn't really cut above green. So it only hooks against green and then comes back down. This is also a potential entry, not as strong as the uh, actual cross, but still an okay signal here. As you can see, the moving averages are sloping down nicely. They are in the right direction. 20 is below 50. Uh, the yellow is below the 50 line here. It's sloping down, green is sloping down. And if you get in here for the 129.53, all the way down here is 128.62. So roughly 90 pips again. So up here is a very close entry that would not uh, actually be an entry because yellow is still above 50 here. And even though red cuts below green and green is below yellow, there and we are below the moving averages so we back uh, broke them and are testing them from the back side right now that is simply not an entry that you want to take 
The best entries are simply when the moving averages are nicely angled and spread and parallel. So they are moving in the same direction in a parallel manner and are obviously sloped into one direction. And the yellow down, down here is also sloping into one direction. So there's another potential entry down here and there's another potential entry here. Then there's another potential entry here and there's a hook against the green line. So this is another potential entry at the end of this bar, at the end of this bar, and then the trend is pretty much done until all the way down here, where we, again, we cross green above yellow, but in the next bar, we cross yellow as well. So this is also a potential entry. The moving averages are still nicely angled. Okay, so you s can see you get a lot of nice trend entries here along the way. And as you can see, I'm not paying any attention to price action here. I simply don't care about what candles are doing, what kind of candle I'm getting in. So this kind of candle here would never be an entry candle for a traditional price action trader. They would wait until this breakout bar, but with the um, TDI we can get in a bit earlier here. Sometimes obviously we can also get some fake outs or we can get a late entry so this would maybe be a potential entry for a price action trader. But the TDI gives us a bit of a late entry so that's always the thing that you have to um, keep in mind. And here there's a potential entry short that actually um, could have been an entry but you can see the yellow line is angled to the upside. So that's not our favorite entry. We want it really to be moving to the downside when we are entering short. And we want it to be moving to the upside when we are entering long. So let's take a look at some long entries. So here are some potential entries for a long, right? We are above the 50. The uh, yellow line is moving to the upside. We are above the moving averages, they haven't crossed yet. So this is again a bit of an early entry, an early trend change entry. I like these entries more that happen later into the trend. But again, this is up to you and your personal risk management. This is a potential entry. Then we get uh, something like a hook. So this is a potential entry. This is one and this is one right the yellow line is moving up we are always hooking against the green line and here we have another potential entry this is a potential entry then it's again above the 50 here we are looking for long entries so this is a potential long entry this is one and we get a hook so this is one so you can see you're entering quite often in the range, but they tend to work out. This is an entry and this is an entry and then we break below and that's it. So I showed you the potential entry scenarios for this indicator. I think it's pretty clear. Um, there are some other possible entry scenarios where you are scalping, but let's be honest, um, we want to keep it easy. We want the easy money in the markets. Let's not make our lives too hard. Now you might be asking, so, okay, I know how to enter. How do I exit? As for exits, well, you can use, for example, the moving average for your stop loss, either the 20 or the 50. You could use the low or the high of the bar when you're entering. And as for take profits, you can get out when you get a two to one or a three to one. You can get out when the green line turns you can get out when the yellow line turns that's totally up to you you can use um, fibonacci extensions you can use levels um, all of that is up to you even though i recommend that as this is a totally indicator based entry strategy and we don't look at price action at all you also want to get out based either on an indicator or based on a fixed risk reward ratio to not overcomplicate this strategy Another thing to mention is that as you're getting into the later stages of a trend, price will make a bigger and bigger distance to the moving averages. So you don't want to use the lower moving average anymore. 
you want to use the higher moving average or you want to use the low of the bar as your stop loss for example to still make for realistic targets. Another thing I really want to emphasize is that as you are in the early stage of a trend you can use the EMA50 as I did for this trade for a simple 2 to 1 and for this trade 2 to 1 for this trade we are still using the 50 2 to 1 then for this trade the EMA20 and the EMA50 are already diverging and making a bigger distance between themselves so in this case simply use the EMA20 so you still get a realistic target in this case Price is already quite far away from the EMA20 here, so if you use a target down here, you have to sit through this whole swing, and that's usually not what you want with this strategy, you want to get in and out quickly. So in this case, you either use the low of the bar as your um, stop loss, or you could, for example, use an EMA10. So here we have the EMA10 on our chart, we put our stop down here, we still have to sit through this whole swing, but you can see we got closer to our target up here. Here's a typical period you want to avoid trading completely, because as you can see the moving averages are on, sitting on top of each other and completely flat. This is simply not something you want to trade. Here then they start fanning out nicely. You have this nice fan, you get your hook against the green. Yellow is above 50, it's moving to the upside. Here is our entry in this bar and let's see where it goes. Boing. So your stop loss would have been in this case below the 50 because we are still not um, far away from it. And now I'll take profit here. Then you get another entry here. The moving averages are nicely fanned. Obviously here you want to use the 10 or the 20 for a stop loss. I think I'm using the 10 here because this is a nice breakout bar and we hit it. Then here there is a potential loser depending on how you set your stop loss. So this is obviously an entry. We hook against the green line. If you set your stop loss below the EMA 10 you will take a loss. If you set it at a 20, you will still be good and make your 2 to 1. Then we have another entry here with your stop loss below the 20 in this case. And you eventually get your target over here. So that's all up to you. I showed you the entries. I showed you the potential take profits and stop loss techniques. You can use this. You can also use an ATR for your stop loss. doesn't really matter. Don't pay too much attention with, to the price action with this strategy. It's really an indicator based strategy that uh, should make your life quite easy for finding entries. You look at how well are the EMAs fanned out. Then you look at where is the yellow line above or below 50. Is it moving up or down? Then you look at what the red line is doing in comparison to the green line. That's pretty much it. I mean it doesn't get much easier than that. You simply need to show some patience and then you backtest your entries and your exits. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with the Traders Dynamic Index. I quite like this indicator. I've used it for strategies in the past. Uh, this was on a 15 minute chart. I've used it on a 4 hour chart in the past and it just is an overall great tool. Have a great week.